Howdy, it's Matt. Now this video is obviously for Banggood support. Uh, the rare bear, or my replacement rare bear, has just been in turn up, turned up. I bought another one because they're absolutely fantastic models, but I've just signed for this one is damaged because that box is absolutely mullet. And again, another reason why I'm doing this uh, is because I suspect the model is quite heavily damaged and uh, we can see the box is still sealed up. So if you do receive a package from Banggood, or any foreign site, uh, or in fact any site at all, uh, it doesn't take a few seconds for you to get your camera out and to record it. So I am recording this on the iPad, so it is going to be shaky, the audio is not going to be fantastic, but things are not looking promising. This package has had quite a bit of a whack by the looks of it, which is such a shame because it's got such fantastic models, and the, the Rare Bear especially is an absolute brilliant model, but... If it can't get to us in one piece, then we're not really saving that much money, are we? We're just going to get frustrated. And we can see that in the warehouse, they've added some foam around the outside. But to be honest, this is not what this model or maybe other models need. It needs proper protection. So again, first time I looked in this box, the box is obviously crushed to pieces uh, and again I don't know how well that's coming out of my camera but it is what it is I'm going to open this one up we'll take a look and again I'm going to be almighty surprised yes no big surprise uh, we can see the damage straight out of the box the the ends got crushed all the top of the model is damaged uh, so I'm going to go through piece by piece and again it's hard because the box has got so crushed Get here, and then so I can get in here and get the parts out without doing them any more damage. So we'll put a look. Right, so yeah, elevator fin looks like it's in one piece. I can see the bottom bit is ridiculously loose. My last one was not like that. It's obviously I had a whack, so that's not looking very well for the first part, which we've pulled out of the box. I'll tell you what, let's get straight in there and have a look at the fuselage and the state of that. Okay, it's not a good sign to see a model in such a khaki space. Right, so immediately wingtip, all bent rounds. Uh, again, I can bend it back round, but once that foam's been bent, it's been bent, hasn't it? Uh, the packaging you can see on the back of here, the back of the ailerons have both, well, one's definitely more damaged than the other one. The top of the model has been absolutely mullered. You can look at the impact dent in there. And again, the stickers are just falling, falling off. Uh, it's got creases all the way down the fuselage as well. If we take a taking a quick look at the electronics, the electronics look all right. Uh, the top lid of the nose cone is broken it's not only dented it's it, i'm not going to get that out it's even cracked on the nose cone as well again stickers the transfers are all falling off looking at the bottom yeah look at the damage up here on the front i'm going to turn it around for the camera you can see there and you can see there uh, bottom of the wing is out of whack yeah just not a good state is the motor mount still attached yeah, the motor mount's in. Yeah, such a pity. You can just see the amount. I don't know how that's going to come out on the light. Look at the shit. That's not supposed to be like that. All that ridge down there is absolutely mullered. And you can hear me sighing because I'm a bit annoyed about it. I bought this one as a replacement for the other one because I really liked the other one. And the other one did come up, come up, turn up with a bit of damage on it, but nowhere as near as bad as this. Uh, the, by the looks of it, the only piece which has survived its journey, uh, and even that's had a dent in the corner as well, uh, is the uh, rear part of the tail fin. That's in there. Let's have a quick look at the hood, and that'll be the last part in the box. Thankfully, that looks in A1 condition, so the, the actual hood itself looks good. 
Tail is fine. Stabilizer is fine. That's a bit wobbly. It is what it is. Can't do much about that. But the actual bulk of the model is bent to buggery. It and again, all the transfers are coming off uh, on the sides. And you look, you can just turn it around. Up. Let's see if we can see the angle on there. Let's see a bit of focus on there for us. It's absolutely mullered down the side of it. Uh, I wonder if I can put the lid on. In fact, will the lid even go on with the... No, the lid. Because the model is so beaten up, and it's not... Let me make sure the ESC is not distorting that for us. Let me just tuck that around. Put that down in around there. Look, you can see the sheer amount of distortion of the model. That lid's supposed to sit down there flat, and that's how much of a whack that model has had. It's to the point is that I, I think I can save it ish, but the foam has definitely been dam damaged back here. I, I just don't know. I don't know. That's the rare bear. That was a hundred dollars worth and it's not in a good state. Arrived here in a sensible amount of time. It's got to come from the opposite side of the world, fair enough for that. But the packaging, just not up to scratch, I'm afraid. We've ended up with a damaged model. And I paid full price for that, Nyon. It was at the, the, the headline price on the Banggood website is $100. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but Ultimately, I paid shipping for that model. I did not pay someone to damage the model while it was in transit. So I have signed for it as being damaged. Uh, and as we can clearly see, this model is damaged. Such a shame. They are such brilliant models. Uh, I know because I've already got one here. But it shouldn't be as bent to buggery as it is. So for myself, Matt, thank you ever so much for watching this video. Any questions or comments, please ask. I share the good, unfortunately, with the bad from time to time. And again, who's at fault here? It's half the courier and it's half bang good. Ultimately, the courier should pay more respect for the actual products which they're shipping. And also, you've got to say half of it goes with Banggood because that packaging is obviously not enough. We had an issue with the first one. This one's turned up and it's absolutely friggin' mullered. From myself, Matt, thank you ever so much for watching. See you again shortly. Obviously, you can tell I'm not in a particularly good mood at the moment. The Rare Bear, absolutely brilliant model. That Rare Bear in that poop condition, not happy. So for myself, Matt, cheerios.